Shanghai Maglev is a high-speed magnetic levitation train that connects Shanghai Pudong International Airport to the city's central business district. The train uses magnetic levitation technology to hover above the tracks and reach speeds of up to 431 km per hour, making it the fastest commercially operated train in the world. The Shanghai Maglev line is 3.5 km long and it takes just 7 minutes and 20 seconds to travel between the airport and the Longyang road station. The trains operate every 15 to 20 minutes and tickets cost around 50 to 60 yuan, which is approximately 8 to 10 dollars for a one-way trip. The Shanghai Maglev has been in operation since 2004. and has been a popular mode of transportation for both tourists and locals it is also a symbol of china's advancements in high speed transportation technology construction of line began on march 1 2001 and public commercial service commenced on 1st jan 2004 the shanghai trans rapid project took 10 billion yuan or 1.3 billion usd and two and a half years to complete The line is a 30.5 km track and has a further separate track leading to a maintenance facility. The top operational commercial speed of this train is 431 km per hour, making it the fastest train in regular commercial service since its opening in April 2004. During a non-commercial test run on 12 November 2003, piloted by Jonathan Taxira, a Maglev train achieved a Chinese record of 501 km per hour speed. The Shanghai Maglev has a length of 153 meters and a width of 3.7 meters, a height of 4.2 meters and a three class 574 passenger configuration. The train set model was built by joint ventures of Siemens, Tyson Krupp from Tesla in three pieces, Germany and based on years of test and improvements of their Transrapid Maglev monorail. The Shanghai Maglev track was built by local Chinese companies who as a result of alluvial soil conditions of Pudong area had to deviate from the original track design of one sporting column every 50 meters to one column every 25 meters to ensure that the guideway meets the stability and precision criteria. Several thousand concrete piles were driven to depth up to 70 meters to attain stability for the sport column foundations. A long mile climate control facility was built alongside the lines right of way to manufacture the guideways. The train was manufactured in Germany by Siemens Tyson Krupp. The electrification of the train was developed by Wehel Incorporation. Two commercial Maglev systems predated the Shanghai system, the Birmingham Maglev in the United Kingdom and the Berlin M bomb. Both were low speed operations and closed before the opening of the Shanghai Maglev train. The train was inaugurated in December 2002 by the German Chancellor and the Chinese Premier Zhu Rongji. The initial opening was for the tour only providing a round trip. The train starts from Longyang Road Station, speeds up to 431 km per hour and arrives at Pudong International Airport. After a very short break, the train returns without opening the door. Since 2010, a fourth train of Chinese production has been added to the rolling stock. Its design slightly differs from the original Transrapid trains, separated front lights below the short end front windows and interior design. The Shanghai Maglev is a transportation solution that helps to solve several problems such as traffic congestion, airport connectivity, pollution, time efficiency. Now we will discuss these one by one. Traffic congestion. Shanghai is a densely populated city with a large number of cars on the roads. The Shanghai Maglev provides a fast and efficient alternative for travelers who wants to avoid traffic congestion and get to their destination quickly. The second is airport connectivity. The Shanghai Maglev provides a direct connection between Shanghai's Pudong International Airport and the city center. This helps to improve the accessibility of airport and makes it easier for travelers to get to and from the airport. The third problem it solves is pollution. The Shanghai Maglev is powered by electricity and emits no pollutants, making it an environmentally friendly transportation option. 
The fourth problem it solves is time efficiency. The high speed of the maglev means that the travelers can get to their destination quickly and efficiently, reducing travel time and improving productivity. Overall, the Shanghai maglev is an innovative transportation solution that helps to address several problems in Shanghai. Maglev technology holds great promise for the future. It has the potential to be cheaper, faster, safer, and greener form of transportation than we have today and with the help of some electrical engineers it will become all of these things there are possible applications for this technology in anything from intercity public transportation to cross country trips there are even proposals to build long underground tubes suck the air out of the tubes and place maglev trains inside of them in this setting there would be virtually no wind resistance so a train could easily reach speeds exceeding the speed of the sound while it may be a long time before this technology becomes prevalent, it is difficult to deny that it will at some point be prevalent. The advantages are too hard to ignore. As of now, there is only one commercial maglev train in use and it has already eclipsed everything that has come before it. How will this technology evolve and improve as we move into the future? Only time will tell. But it is highly plausible that we now stand at the precipice here are some benefits of Shanghai Maglev train. Speed The Shanghai Maglev train is one of the fortest trains in the world with a top speed of 431 km per hour. This means that the train can cover the 30 km distance between the airport and the city center in just 7 minutes, which is much faster than other modes of transportation such as buses or taxis. The second benefit is its comfort. The Shanghai Maglev train provides a smooth and comfortable ride due to its advanced magnetic levitation technology. Passengers do not experience the uh, same jolts and bumps that are common on traditional trains or buses which can make for a more pleasant journey. The third benefit is its convenience. The Shanghai Maglev train is a convenient option for travelers who need to get to airport quickly and easily. The train runs every 15 to 20 minutes and operates from early morning until late at night, making it an easy option for the travelers to schedule their time. The next benefit is environmentally friendly. The Shanghai Maglev train is an eco-friendly mode of transportation as it produces no emission and consumes less energy than traditional trains. This makes it a more sustainable choice for travelers concerned about the carbon footprints. The last but not the least benefit is its technological advancements. The Shanghai Maglev train is a remarkable technological achievement and riding on it can be a unique experience for many passengers. It provides a glimpse into the future of transportation and showcases China's technological powers. The Shanghai Maglev train is a highly advanced transportation system that utilizes magnetic levitation technology to propel the train along its tracks. Some of the key components of Shanghai Maglev train includes magnetic levitation system, linear synchronous motor, control system, guideway, passengers cars, power supply. Now we will discuss these one by one. The number one is magnetic levitation system. The train's propulsion system uses magnetic levitation to lift the train above tracks and propel it forward at a high speeds. This technology eliminates the need for traditional wheels and axles, reducing friction and allowing the train to travel faster. The second is linear synchronous motor. The Shanghai Maglev train is powered by a linear synchronous motor that runs along the length of the train. This motor uses electromagnets to generate a magnetic field that propels the train forward. The third component is control system. The train control system includes sensors and computers that monitors the train's speed, position and other parameters. The control system ensures that the train stays on the tracks and maintains a safe speed at all times. The fourth component is guideway. The guideway is the track on which the train travels. The guideway of Shanghai Maglev train is a concrete beam that contains a series of magnetic coils that generate the magnetic field that lifts and propels the train. The fifth element is passenger cars. The train consists of multiple passenger cars that are designed for maximum comfort and safety. The passenger cars are equipped with air conditioning, comfortable seating and safety features 
such as emergency brakes and evacuation systems. The last key element is power supply. The Shanghai Maglev train is powered by a high voltage electrical system that supplies power to the linear synchronous motor and other components of the train. Overall, the key components of Shanghai Maglev train that work together to create a highly advanced transportation system that is fast, efficient and safe. It cost $39.7 million per kilometer to build. The line's balance of payment has been in a huge deficit since its opening. In its initial years of operation, Shanghai Maglev Transportation Development Corporation, the company that runs the line, had more than 1 billion yuan in losses. Nevertheless, the line's lack of profitability derives from its construction to envision the future of China's rail infrastructure, such as converting its entire high-speed rail network into Maglev, rather than a viable market solution to garner a profit from travelers. A 2007 statement by TransRapid USA said that 4 million passengers in 2006, the system was able to cover its operating cost. The ratio of cost was given a 64% energy, 19% maintenance and 17% operations or sporting services. No overall amount of expenditures was given. The high proportion of energy cost was attributed to the short trip time and high operating speed. According to the Chinese media's report, however, due to the huge cost of operating and the lack of passenger flow, Shanghai Maglev Transportation Company would lose 500 to 700 million yuan every year. A one-way ticket cost $8 or 6.4 for those passengers holding a receipt or proof of an airline ticket purchase. A round-trip return cost $12.8 and VIP tickets cost double the standard fare. The price hasn't changed since the Maclev began operations.